Hey guys, for today's tutorial, we're going to be doing an ode to summer. So I decided to do some barefoot sandals. Um, I had about 10 different ideas I wanted to do for these and I thought about it all week. Finally had to just force myself to make a decision. So I'm actually going to do two on this one and then maybe down the road somewhere I'll do some more barefoot sandals, different types. There's a lot of cool things you can do with them. But um, to start with, we're going to just jump right in. Um, we're going to need, this is just stretch cord. Um, nothing spectacular. One millimeter. Probably got it at Joann's or Michael's. Um, and then, I should have probably thought this through a little better before I took all my beads out. I'm using wooden beads. Got a blue, a black, a little pink round one. These are cubes. Um, you don't have to use wooden. You can use whatever, whatever you want. Um, so these are pretty simple, fairly quick. So I'm going to take my spool. Okay, I'm going to give you a up close and personal look at my foot, which everybody I'm sure is excited about. Um, just bear with me here. I don't really know how else I can do this. This should be fun. All right. So, foot cord. I'm going to wrap the cord around my second toe. I'm going to do some of this. Okay. And then I am going to. Pull it back under my ankles, behind my foot. Now I've got my one end over here. And I am going to leave about, I'm not good with measurements, let's say an inch to an inch and a half of a tail back here. Can you see that? Okay, and I'm going to just put those that end up next to the other side. Keep my finger on it. And then I'm going to take it off my foot. Now, I'm going to stay like this for a minute because I just want to show you something else real quick while I'm up here. So I'm going to take my scissors and just cut that where... I had, um, was holding it with my fingers, and then I'm going to take my spool again, which I have unrolled way too much, and take my one I cut, the one on the spool, and then just go ahead and cut another piece, same length, match up the ends, even it out. Cut another piece. You don't even have to measure anything. I mean, it's elastic. It stretches. We used extra, so we should be good. And if not, then we'll just redo it. So I've got my two cut pieces. I'm gonna jump back up here real quick. I'm going to fold one of my cut pieces in end to end, fold it in half. And then I'm going to put it over my second toe again. Okay, and I'm going to bring this down, or I'm going to pinch it together. If you can see that at the top of my toe. I'm going to hang on to it. This is my spot. So I'm going to make a knot right here. I'm just going to twist it around. Hi. Um, and make a knot right there. Now, the beads that I chose, one reason I chose them is because they have a larger hole 
and this is a very thin elastic but since we're we've doubled it I wanted my hole to be a little larger so I wouldn't have any trouble getting my beads on there so this little loop here is going to be your toe loop now I'm just going to start throwing beads on here so let me see here. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with one of these little pink ones. And I'm just going to. Start beading it up. Black one next. If your cord is like if if one of them's going through and the other one's trying, but it's not really making it. Let me see if I can demonstrate on this one. Mine are doing pretty good, but so Let's say this one was through, but this one was having a hard time. You could just grab this one that's sticking up and grab the other side of it. Shoot. Try it like this. Okay, the end is sticking up and the other end. And pull it to the side like that and that will make room for your other one to come up through if you're having trouble getting it through that's one way you can do it okay and One way to be able to tell how many beads you might need or when you want to stop threading these through would be to just take your finger and your thumb, put it at the top of your small toe and then at the top of your ankle measure how long that is and then you'll know how many beads you can put on there easy peasy so I have this is what I got so far I do a few more. Also, if you're having trouble getting uh, both of them through, you can take a bead reamer and just make your hole a little bigger. That's another option. But usually pulling the elastic helps. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay. And 
would you believe me if I told you that's it? Pretty much. I mean, it's not it, but it's pretty much it. So, I'll put this around my second toe again, like so. I'm going to pull it under and back, and this is elastic. So, I can make it as loose or as tight as I want, but I can go ahead and tie it while it's on my foot. And then tie it again for a double knot. And I like to pull this to make it tight, but I also like to pull this part back towards itself. And that's it. If you wanted to do another knot, just to be safe, I mean, obviously you can. You can do five knots if you want to. And then, that's it. I can take it off. And then, what I was saying is I like to pull it from this side to tighten, but I also like to grab these guys right here, pull those towards them too. Pull it in all the directions. And then you can just take your scissors, cut off your little ends if you want to. And it's done. That's it. And then you just do the other in the same exact way. I'm not going to stick my foot back up here right this second. I will in a little bit. Don't worry. I've not seen the last of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around my toe like I did the first one. Uh, pinch it together right, at, you know, right above my toe. Hold it, pull it off. Got my loop. Gonna make a knot right there. And then I'm going to put my beads on like I did last time. See, I have one now that is big enough on one side, but not big enough on the other side. So I'm just going to take my bead reamer, give it a little twist. Wooden ones are easy to do. If you have if using like glass or something like that, just be careful. You don't want to crack your, your um, bead in half or anything. So this one, I'm going to pull, like I was saying before, pull it tight so that I can get this one up through there, hopefully, maybe not. He's kind of coming undone at the end, so I'm just going to snip that off because that could be part of my hold up. And then I'll have a fresh new in that's not 
unraveling on me. Still not wanting to go. All right, well, Gade Raymond it is. Okay. But he's gonna go now. Stubborn little guy. He's like, hell no, I'm not going. Oh, but you are. All right. Hopefully that's the only one that's like that. And I spoke too soon. <sighs> it happens. Also, once you mess with this elastic a lot, it, um, it'll start to unravel. First one did so good. While I'm doing this, I might as well go ahead and do these last few just in case. No, they're going on great. Maybe I should have done that to begin with. Those first ones went on so good. All right, I'm done. This is my second one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to put my foot up here, but actually, I will. I'll do that for you guys. So I'll put it around my second toe, under, behind. Tying it in a knot. Not too tight, tight enough. You're gonna wanna be able to slip it back on and off. And on and off. Double knot. Okay, so I have both of them done. Now once it's done and it's tied, the way you're gonna put these back on is you're gonna put this over your foot first and onto your ankle. And then put this part on your toe, which I'm gonna show you now. Okay. So I'm going to take the big part, put it over my foot, put this over my toe, back under my ankle, just like that. Okay. I'll try to show both of them to you at the same time. 